Welcome back to Gaming Jesus here, and we are bringing you Football Manager 2021 Rangers Career Mode. Don't you call it in this Ranger Save Rangers Career? Who who gives one right? But is football manager with a twist man it's actually on console and i think it's much better on console right because seeing you're on your laptop like and you're playing a game because i mean pc gaming is more you know what i mean but most people who would play football manager would play it on their laptop not like a proper pc you know i think it's just so much better on the console it's a lot more smoother but here we go rangers hire cool stevie cool as the club's new manager uh, the 19 year old, I mean in terms of the history that I put before I, ha I had this job on 12 grand a week, a week by the way, um, Sunday League footballer but yeah so we're going to get all these news articles that we've took charge at Rangers and who will we be looking to bring in obviously right see football manager it's not like FIFA, it's not like Pez, you can't bring in the likes of Chris Small and Bakayoko Saka with our budget, it's just I mean it's a lot more realistic, I like that into the first game of today's episode in this entire episode, we clean out pre-season, we've got all the games, we've got games against Essens, Essens, we've got Mapping, we've got Linfield, we've got Borussia Dortmund, we've got Newcastle, so leave it down below how many games you think Big Stevie will win, um, but yeah, here's the team going into the first game, yeah, Balligan, you know, we're getting swapped out, don't worry about him, but I'm just giving you a rough idea what the formations and all look like, as you can see, got Aribo in there, but man, yeah, so if you enjoy the game, there you go, but yeah, sadly once I was doing all that, we actually scored, but we get the second goal here, it is Alfredo Morelos getting a second goal, and then it's Giannis Hadji stepping up for the free kick, top bends, quality finish, can't complain with that, and now into the final bit of the game, it's all over, full time whistle goes in this friendly, it's a 3-0 win, 16 shots to 3, domination, and um, yeah, it's a Morelos brace, it's a Hadji goal, and now into our next game against Linfield at Windsor Park. I, I, I love the fact they've actually got all the names of the stadiums and shit. You know what I mean? Like, if FIFA could combine with all the stuff the football manager has like in a good, quick way, it'd be brilliant. But Morelos has played through, makes it 1-0. He's going to make no mistake for there. No two ways about it. Itton again, look at that, man. Top, I mean, the goals in football manager are a bit dodgy, but it's still brilliant. But now Linfield on the attack, and it is... Kirk Miller, what a fucking jobber, guy, name man, it's a free kick, Barisic, but now, it's Jermaine Dafoe makes it 3-1 here against Lynn Field, and that is exactly what I like to hear, big man, and now it is James Tavernier, our captain, it's whipped in, it's Cedric in, it seems like all of our front guys are absolutely on fire and that is exactly what Big Stevie likes to see. And now going in to the end bit of the game, Tav whips a ball in at the back post and it is Philippe Hollander, the guy who's currently got Covid so get well soon Philip. And yeah we're winning here 5-1 and that is the full time whistle 5-1 at Windsor Park, it's good to see a wee Linfield in action. Um, um, but our next friendly here is against Borussia Dortmund. St. Johnston want Patterson on loan. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Uh, Robert Snodgrass looked at this guy, thought, can we maybe bring him in? Don't have enough money to bring him in. I thought, alright, let's look at a loan deal. Couldn't get the job done with a loan deal. So the finances are really pish. But next up, game against Dortmund at Ibrox. I mean, they've got Royce, they've got Haaland. It's going to be a tough game. Haaland's been played through over the top. He buries it into the bottom right-hand corner. And yeah, there's just no stopping Erling ha Haaland, man. The guy is just a fucking machine. And there is no two ways about it. But Barisic is Polak, someone there. The ref is coming over. It's a slow wee stroll. Who's going to get Rick Flair? And he has whipped out the red flag. And I can't even believe that he's been sent off for that, man. Absolutely pish. Um, and Al McGregor tries to get a glove to that, but can't quite. It is 2-0. And now Haaland makes it 3-0. And... Considering we were down with 10 men, I don't think 3-0 is actually that bad. you got to factor in, this isn't FIFA, man. I think that's a good job, being down with 10 men that long. Only going to get beat 3-0. But Patterson, looks like Queen's Park want him now. Who's going to take this Patterson guy, man? But meanwhile, we're going into some transfer business here with Lawrence Shankland. I want the guy. Wanted him in FIFA. Wanted him in Pez. Couldn't get him in Isler. But here we go. Can we get him in 
football manager man uh so we're going to go ahead there with the one million pound bid then hopefully we can get the job done there's some bonuses we need to agree here on hopefully we get the job done we'll get newcastle up next balagin has got a pulled five he'll be out for 10 days to three weeks I mean, that's a pretty big window i mean that is well very big i mean it's 11 day window like i mean anything could realistically happen in that but two days to go to the big game at ibrox against newcastle sadly newcastle aren't licensed but hey man i mean the game's still good i'm not going to bury it too much middleton looks like he's going to be joining rafe rovers on loan which will uh be decent enough for uh him I mean, what's that? He's on. We're playing. He's on two and a half grand a week. By looks it. What happened to Middleton, man? He was playing Europa League games, and now he's just not doing anything. But Shankland, the bid has been rejected. One million pound. Dundee United have turned that down for. And to be honest, I can't quite believe that, man. What the hell? I mean, I thought. I mean, I know his value is one point eight. Like, but I really expect that them to uh, turn that down. But yeah, rulers agree on that move there and it looks like Nathan Patterson yep he is away to St Johnston on loan it was weird Queen's Park were actually offering more money than St Johnston to have it for two days nothing major just a wee tight calf um, and now Dundee United want 2.3 plus Adam Def I mean I mean it was almost the Maroon 5 fucking guy there but there's a couple of results Hibs beating Oldham Ross County getting beat by Leeds um, but now we are in to the action here against Newcastle at Ibrox hopefully we can get another win but it's a slide tackle there from Barisic Matt Ritchie the Scottish international steps up off the post by the looks here and it is rattled into the back of the net but now it is Sungu but a couple of changes into the second half and it is Cedric Itten with the goal to make it one each here and we're actually doing no bad like realistically here like, especially Itton, he seems like to be banging in all the goals. We got a bit lucky and it's Greg Stewart with the rebound. Even this guy, man, is getting some goals, which is absolutely insane. And we, yeah, we make it 2-1 here. 52 minutes played. The goals are absolutely flying in, um, which is absolutely uh, mad. Now we're going into the 60th minute. A good bit of play here. Jordan Jones finds... Oh, brilliant play. Itton and Morelos, they slice open the defence of Newcastle and they extend our lead to three points and that is exactly what I like to see and now we will simulate to the end of the game I and mean, obviously it's just the key highlights you're not used to how football manager works it's like you can adjust how many highlights you want to see like some chances a lot or key highlights of the full match some people can even do but yeah 3-1 here against Newcastle changed the formation up going into the second half and that worked a treat because we have managed to get three goals to their one and even look at that man I mean we were just much better than um newcastle which is exactly what we want to see kent is injured he's out for about eight days but i believe it's like six days or eight to the uh the first game of the season but the shankland deal is yet to um be agreed looks like there's some financial uh trouble there which is i mean it's not exactly what we want to hear but hopefully we can get that deal across the line but as you can see they want 1.8 million and yeah we're going to go ahead and accept that looks like we couldn't afford it but now we've boosted the bank balance and now we can hopefully get this deal over the line and now we can agree to some terms with big lawrence um shankland and now we can move it on up move it on down down and now well it's not can stop me moving on up uh, i mean see i mean all that shite like football manager like if you're not used to it like I'm not really used to it, but I mean I have played it quite a lot in the past. But if this is new to you, man, this will probably uh absolutely <laughs> day in. But now we need to agree to like contracts and wages and all. But I mean I, I couldn't even be arsed looking at this shit, man. I just went ahead and agreed with it. I mean the way we've been playing, like I mean I mean realistically we probably should look at a defensive option instead of an attacking option. But I want it, Shankland. For the cool scene plus it weakens Dundee United, which is always a good thing. But cool is to make his managerial debut, well, competitive debut here against Aberdeen. And uh, yeah, the odds we've got Aberdeen nine to five, we're five to two, but we're seven to five. I mean, those are fucking pretty decent odds. No, we're not that like those good odds. That, like, um, well, especially well, this season we would be, but in previous seasons we would... look at that man, 
purchase dodgy lasagna. Find out next time, brother.